What do Amazon, Evernote, Firefox and Twitter all have in common? They all have an animal in their logo. Yes, and with us we've got our Berlin startup girl, Kaylee, and she's going to tell us all about this trend that is sweeping the tech scene. Kaylee, why is it that so many companies chosen, choose an animal in their logos? Well, startups have a lot of competition everywhere in the world, and little-known brands can find it difficult to connect with people, and using an animal in your logo is a great way to symbolize certain traits. Like if you see an elephant, you know it has something to do with memory. If you see a fox, you know it has something to do with being quick and agile. So would you say that an animal in your logo is the same as a team mascot or a pet? Yeah, absolutely. It just is something that makes it easier for your audience to identify with your brand. We're seeing this in Western cultures as well as Eastern cultures. We're seeing a lot of uh, Chinese companies using animals that are in the, uh, in the zodiac. So we're seeing lots of tigers and lots of dogs and lots of sheep. And what animals should you choose as your symbol? I have a dog. It's called a chug. He's half pug, half chihuahua. And he's <laughs> just a little Buddha. I think he represents um, love. So I would definitely pick my own dog, Toby. And for specific companies, what animals should they choose? Well, it really depends on what they are. Um, what they're trying to convey. I've been seeing a lot of foxes lately. I mean, we have Mozilla Firefox, uh, a client that I work with who I love very much in Berlin. Uh, it's called Rival Fox, and we do competitive intelligence. And so I think a fox is a perfect symbol, but it really depends on your own company and the brand value. Exactly. Well, thank you so much about sharing uh, for sharing the information on this trend. We'll see you next time, Kaylee. And if you want to know more uh, about this trend or hey, see hey. other items with Kaylee, go to interconnection.com. Bye-bye.